one. Hey guys, so in this video, what we're going to do is provide a uh, color commentary on the uh, demo that Eric did with Octavio. So in the members area, what you're going to have is the raw sort of um, uncut, um, uninterrupted version of the call. Um, and there's actually a few files there. You'll find like the Zoom screen recording and then the, just the audio file. Um, there's also a transcript for you to, um, for you to, to take a look at as well. But in this video, what we're gonna do is, is sort of just um, land on very specific parts of the call and explain to you, you know, why these are so important. Um, and also, you know, some of the things that you might be thinking about when these, uh, these types of questions or these types of, uh, or when the conversation veers in this um, direction when you're running your Fusion demos. Yep. Cool. So um, right now we've got uh, some timestamps. So we're just going to fast forward to the timestamps. We're going to listen to them. And uh, yeah, we'll be pausing and, and giving some commentary. So um, at 735, he says he tried or did SEO in the past. Something you guys are going to hear a lot. Let's just press play. You know what? Actually, Michael, I realized that I, I kind of put those words into his mouth. He said, I've tried being on the first page of Google. That's what he said. Hmm. Um, are we playing at 1x or 1.2 or... One X. Okay. Just didn't just kind of hashing what you said out. You said that you had tried something that was like that they told you was SEO, but you said it, it didn't work. Can you tell me more about what that was? Cause what's important for me is to kind of know what you did and kind of help you understand how that's different from what we do and what we do that's different than anyone else. So what was it that this company uh, said they were going to do for you? And who were they? All right, so many years ago, I joined some company that said that they were going to put me in the on the front page of Google. I checked it, and I was on the front page of Google, but still, it's, um, not many calls came in, came in from there. Um, what company? So um, you ask uh, what company he's working with. He doesn't, he eventually doesn't even know, you know, the company that he was working with. But um, what I think is really important here, um, Eric is, and what I, what I really love is that it's, it's differentiating what we're doing versus anything that he's tried in the past. Yeah. And it's just, you know, sometimes people do know what they did, but Octavio is a self-admitted um, non-expert. AK, I don't think he, he doesn't really want to pay attention. In fact, most businesses, they, they don't really want to pay attention. They just want to get the benefits. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, what he knows, what he's done. So I can distinguish and, you know, I, I kind of, you know, tried to do some digging, couldn't find out as much as I wanted to. But um, what I, what we do get to, and if you could just fast forward to like about a minute, Michael, uh, we do get to me essentially just like confirming that like, all right, maybe you're on the front page, whatever, but can we still confirm that like, if someone needs what you do, like this is the process that they're going to use, which is going on Google. Yeah. Um, before we go on that, I wanted to ask you, like you said that you weren't able to get the information that you really wanted. So what's the information that ideally you would get? Good question. Well, yeah, that was pretty presumptuous for me to say that. Well, in, in my mind, what usually happens, what's not in my mind, is people say, yeah, I tried this company and they said they were going to do SEO for me, right? That would be like a dirty dinosaur, or let's say Town Square Media or something. And what they did was they built them a website and nothing happened. So then I would say, okay, well, can you see like they just built you a website and they might have said they were going to do SEO, but they really didn't do anything. And then I could prove that by looking at any backlinks that they had or didn't have. Or, or their page title. It, exactly. Page exactly and and or i could go to um they could say yeah like angie's list okay well that's not the front page bro or like yelp said that they were going to do ads like you have it could be anything we have literally no idea in this guy's mind he said it was a couple of years ago right so if he knows if he self-admittedly knows very little and this happened a long time ago like you know you think about like how insane it is for us to believe that this guy is like tuned in into what's actually happening <clears throat> because it would be really tough for anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so in this case, since he actually didn't know 
really what had happened at all, who did it. It was a bunch of years ago. You've just backed up to like, all right, let's just confirm that Google is the place to be. Yeah. So just like pretty much saying like, hey, man, listen, you've tried things, whatever. But like, would you agree that if you did show up here for this, that you get calls. That's pretty much what we're trying to do here at 922. All right, let's press play. You know, when someone doesn't know an AC company, they're going to need to do a search like AC repair. And because they, people only do searches who actually need service and they need it, they're going to have to call someone on this first page. Would you agree with that? Mm, yeah. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Because that, that's kind of the basic idea behind everything that I'm about to say after. So there's the most important thing is if, if people, so we focus on this section over here for the purpose of this conversation, let's call this the GMB or Google my business section. You're familiar with this? No. Okay. So do you know, there's, there's a couple different sections on Google. There's this top part here, which is called Google guaranteed. Right. No. And then, so that's got nothing to do with me. You go directly to Google if you want to show up there and it's like a pay per lead situation. Then there's this Google, my business section, which you can't pay Google to show up there. The only way to show up here is if you hire a company like my company that will optimize your Google, my business listing so that when someone does a search, Google, um, Google will show your business and not someone else. And there's a formula behind that that Google uses. And what makes an SEO company good is their ability to beat that algorithm, understand that formula better than the, another company. Does that make sense so far? Yes. I'm just going to press pause there. So um, a few things, um, you know, we work in the HVAC niche. Um, what we're, we're actually pretty fortunate in that most HVAC companies will admit or, you know, just understand that the residential side of the market is better than the commercial side of the market. Um, however, you know, when we do run, you know, early on, we realize that if it's a, a company that only serves commercial HVAC, you know, they're usually not a good fit for SEO. And one thing that I saw you do, Eric, um, right when we started is that, you know, um, you asked him, you know, whether he agreed that people who are searching this would actually become customers because, um, you know, it's possible for, depending on the prospect that you're speaking with, that that is not the case. I know this is like extremely basic things, but, you know, um, for you guys who are just getting started in this, you know, you really want to make sure that you're talking to prospects who um, not only are, are they um, are their customers searching online, uh, but also that you know if their customers you know were to find them online, that it would really really pay off for them. So what I mean by that is not only are you looking for prospects who have um, businesses that people will search online, but it's it's a it's a very very helpful and I would say mandatory that. Um, the average customer value is pretty high. So in our niche, um, you know, to get an average ticket of $350, you know, for, a, for just a, a consumer, you know, just regular person Googling to pay that is, um, is, pretty, uh, is pretty reasonable. But um, we would never target somebody, you know, who is selling cupcakes, you know, for example, because yeah. they would need to sell so many freaking cupcakes in order to justify, you know, fifteen hundred dollar a month investment or a thousand dollar a month investment, unless they're like a huge bakery or anything like, you know, like just something like that was huge, and they want to be found for every single thing, and then they're looking at like their business in a completely different way. But we're not talking about some local bake shop, mom and pop situation. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's a really important thing. A big mistake I made on I made early on was targeting the wrong uh, the wrong niche. So, um, you know, you guys, you you have a competitive advantage with your SEO process and you have a competitive advantage with the sales process that we're, we're giving you guys right now. So, you know, go where the getting is good, um, which is, you know, a lot of niches that, you know, might be viewed as like traditional niches. Um, 
where you know people are spending a lot of money and then those companies are are investing in marketing yeah so, service based niches service based niches basically anybody who's uh advertising on the billboards that you uh you see when you go around town um the second thing that just happened is uh you gave him a little bit uh, eric of like a serp analysis just explaining the main sections of google uh you talk about like maybe why that's important yeah, well, it's important because I, this guy doesn't really know anything. And uh, if I don't give him an understanding, a breakdown of like what this is, because the first page of Google is not obvious to everyone, uh, then, I, you know, he might think like, I'm going to be on the first page here, or the first page there. And I got to explain to him, like, this is where you will be. This is where we're going to help you. And like, this is the place that you cannot pay to be. So for example, like, I spoke to a, um, a guy um, the other day. He said, oh yeah, my, all my, you know, my, I'm on the first page of Google already. And, and I'm like, tell me more. He's like, yeah, I'm on that Google guaranteed section. So it's like, you don't need to pay, you know, it's not like you need to do any work to show up there. So we just need to kind of help distinguish, like this is the section that takes SEO. It takes this to show up and you can't just show up automatically. So he, he's following that so far. Um, Go ahead, Michael. Yeah, I was just going to say, I really like how you, um, you know, this is a great demo to be sharing, um, you know, with Fusion. Um, you know, we, in Sales Machine, we've got tons of these demos that uh, we go over. And with a lot of times it's with more sophisticated business owners. Um, but what I really like about this is since it's a business owner who's really starting from scratch and his knowledge of SEO, you are starting from scratch with your explanation of SEO. And that's really where, everybody needs to start, you know, it's like, yeah. Hey, first of all, like, you know, are you, <laughs> are you on the same page that people are typing this keyword in and, and, and using that to find businesses. And now let's explain what, uh, what the different sections of Google are. And now let's explain, yeah. you know, like, Hey, here are the things that go into an SEO process. That, that's exactly it. Um, and because if this guy isn't following me from the beginning here, I mean, he's definitely not going to follow me later on in the conversation. And even then, like, if you, if you just rewind like three seconds, Michael, on this call, like really like, uh, well, that's 30. The but, only way to show um, up here is if you hire a company like my company that will optimize your Google My Business listing so that when someone does a search, mm -hmm. Google, um, Google will show your business and not someone else. And there's a formula behind that that Google uses and what makes listen to his response to my question is their ability to beat that algorithm understand that formula better than the, another company does that make sense so far yes pause okay, pause and, and how 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 feeble was that yes it sounded like i'm like there's three kinds of yeses that they say right um in in the book don't split the difference by chris voss that negotiation book mm -hmm. there's the um yes like i'm following like i'm responding to what you're saying yes there's the yes like um you're not right actually, you're right there's the which, yes you're right yeah which, which actually means like whatever <laughs> and then there's the yes like absolutely yes um which is um which is what you want but it's rare yes you're right yeah yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah. mm-hmm like keep going buddy and so uh this is the yes like my least favorite yes which is just like i'm saying this word in response to what you're saying but it neither confirms or denies anything so i'm when i hear that i don't like to just like move forward sometimes it's appropriate to address it head on other times it's just like yeah this guy needs a little bit more time to just keep going with me on what's going on so um let's see where you take anything at any take point it that I'm saying that doesn't make sense or you don't know, it seems weird, please, by all means, um, uh, let, let me know, you know, mm -hmm. let me know, or, you know, tell me, tell me, uh, Hey, I'm not following you on this. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. All right. So we've, we've got this back again. So this section right here is the first place that we're going to rank you in. And this section below here is the other place that we're going to rank you in. I just and put it in fast forward to yeah. see we get to 15. You're going to be able to capture calls from people who are, who look here. Actually, let me just jump to 15. Yeah. Just jump there. <laughs> now I'm showing him a tool like fusion command center, um, in which I pretty much just like, you know, maybe this is over his head at this point. I'm not really sure. Depends on what information I went in here. 
Press, and then, of uh, course, furnace repair is also an important keyword. Or AC installation. Would you agree there? Yes. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna. That was more of I'm a positive show yes. You, um, how I kind of understand or evaluate how good someone's SEO is. So I have this stuff pulled, this software that allows me to um, pull in different information and figure out how much, you know, how much money your site is essentially getting for free because of the SEO. So, you know, this looks like really complicated, but I'm just going to point out two numbers here. See where it says organic traffic? I'm, I have, I'm highlighting it. Yes. Okay. This tells me it's an estimate. It's a low estimate of how many people are getting to your website from searches. And so it's zero. And this traffic value, it tells me how much money you'd have to spend on Google ads if you wanted to buy that traffic. So I'm not saying that if you had like $10,000 in traffic value that you're spending 10000 That's free traffic that you'd get by having a great ranking on Google like over here. Follow me? Let me see. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. So let me say that another way. I have – so I have a um, – it's an AC repair. I type in Elgin. So this, this allows me to do a search as if I was located right in Elgin, right? And so if you did a search like this, you know, in the center of Elgin, you would see these results. You see these – you see this ad over here? These, these are called Google ads. You see them? I'm just going to pause right here. So using um, Ahrefs or uh, Fusion Command Center – is it's kind of like a, a ninja move that, um, that we cover in some of our more advanced training. Um, and uh, one thing that you guys can do is even prior to this demo is to use Ahrefs to point out the, um, the traffic value of, uh, of competitors before you do a demo you know, with, uh, you know, for somebody. So this is something that I've been using for years in my SEO agency and um, you know, it does a really, really great job at setting the stage for the demo. Um, but right now, um, Eric, you're using it to explain to him, you know, like it, what's, what's really powerful about it is it actually puts like a monetary value on SEO. You know, the big, one of the biggest things to get over and we're going to get over, I mean, I can see that the next timestamp is, is going to cover the ROI calculator. But one of the big things to get over is, you know, people will understand that there's some value in showing up on the first page of Google, but they have a lot of difficulty figuring out exactly quantifying what is that value. And they need to have that value before they're willing to invest. Yeah. You know what, Michael, you just made me come up with the, this distinction. It's like, there's one thing to understand that, that, there, it's beneficial, like there's a benefit to showing up on the first page of Google, but there's another thing to understand the value. So for example, like you look at a vitamin and it's like, these are some benefits of the vitamin, like, hey, it could work, you know? Or you look at this product, it's like, oh yeah, this is something that promotes this, right? Because they can't literally say that it does this or that. But when you look at like, um, like an ibuprofen, it's like this will reduce inflammation. Like that's fact. Right. And so that's kind of the difference between saying, hey, it's, you know, we both can agree that it's great to show up on the first page of Google versus there's or, there's actually a dollar amount here. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or you know, to go with your um, to go with your uh, your like pain medicine thing, you know, like I think of uh, if I had like a killer headache, you yep. know, and it's like, hey, wait a second. If I don't take this headache medicine, I'm going to have to deal with this headache for the next two hours. But if I do take this headache medicine, it's going to be over in 10 minutes. Yep. And if somebody said to me like, hey, you know, pay $10 or pay $5, whatever it is, and this headache's gone in 10 minutes, you know, that's much more quantifiable than if it's like, you know, imagine the other guy selling headache medicine, like, eh, maybe it'll work eventually. You know, I mean, there's no, there's no like specificity around it. Yep. Yep. And um, so you mm -hmm. want to fast forward to the um, 21. Well, we're, yeah, we're already there. I'm, but I'm just essentially, you know, my concern here is that I'm just going to kind of like, you know, give them too much information, but we really get to the good stuff right here at, at around 21, 
minutes and 13 seconds here. You can start from here, I think. Yeah, and I'm, I'm doing this at like 1.3 pace for you guys. That should be pretty good. Yeah, because so you because they, they ha everybody has the demo, you know, in the raw form and also with the transcript. For sure. Themselves, I don't think they're going to be a good customer for you, right? All right. Yeah, yeah so we got it. So ha the first step is to rank you, and that's to get you up on Google. The second step after ranking you is to get people to uh, click on you. Meaning like when someone sees you, they've got to click on your business so they can get to your page and call you. Or like, oh, boom, we landed on this page. Now, now we see your phone number, we can call you, all right? And then the third step is once someone sees you and they click on you, now they're going to call you. And those calls are where you start making money. So if I, so here's what you can expect, right? If let's say a custom heating, um, this, you know, actually, you know, let me just pull up a, uh, the goal is to get you 300 new clicks by the six month mark. Okay. So 300 new clicks. So let's take that number. Um, this is the, the, now you're really getting into the ROI calculator yeah. with 300 clicks. Yeah. And why I get to it so early is because I really need this. I really need this to become really like, go from theory to actual like hard stuff here. And I'm kind of just going right to this because I really want him to, um, to see the money here. Pull up the calculator here. Okay. Um, just to get an idea. Three, oh, sorry, calculator. Okay. So I got your calculator here. So let's say you get 300 clicks. Okay. And of those 300 clicks, not every one of those people are going to end up calling you, right? I mean, it's actually like 20%. So one out of every five people that gets to your site is going to call you, right? So times 0.2, right? That means you're, you get the goal, right, is to get you at least 60 calls a month. Now, if you get 60 calls, that doesn't mean you have 60 jobs, right? That, that just means that you have, um, you have 60 phone calls coming in. If you had 60 phone calls coming in. Go ahead. Are you still there? Yeah, I think the audio cut out for a second. Uh, how many of those 60 phone calls do you think would end up becoming customers of yours? Uh, for 60 a month, we're probably, I'm not sure, at least 30, let's say 50%. Yeah, like 50%. So let's, so if it's 50% of those people, you're looking at 30 new customers. Now, what's your average ticket? About 280. Right, so 280. Um, right. I'm going to call it 300. Our service tickets. Yeah, and then, so how many, yeah, so you'd say 30, 200, 300 for service. What about like an install or, or repair? Uh, about $2,000. Only $2,000 for, for install? Let's pause for a second. Pause. Yeah. You see how I said only $2,000? I'm like, geez, this guy was like, how is that possible? But then, see, why I ask that question is I want to make sure this guy's business is like real. I, meaning like if I know a guy like, you know, like you see some sort of like old man who does like a shoe repair. He's been doing it forever. He loves it. He's got this little shop. He might charge like $10 to repair like a shoe. You go to another shoe repair shop. It's like, yeah, this is $80, right? I know that I'm not going to be able to sell marketing to this guy who does $10 shoe repair. It's just, he's not making enough money. This is just, his business is like more of a hobby. So if I find out this guy's, Go ahead, Michael. I was going to say you, no, no, please uh, finish your, your thought and then I'll jump in. Yeah. So I, I got to make sure this guy's business works in such a way that if I get him the calls that he'll be able to convert them into business and make money. Cause if he's not, no matter how good at SEO I am and get him, no matter how many calls I get him, he's, he's not going to be able to pay because he can't convert. His business isn't set up right. Yeah. One thing that we've um, we've learned in our niche and this is, um, I would imagine this is going to take place in a lot of different niches out there, is that there's, there's a lot of people who just do not know how to run, you know, businesses. And I'll give you, a, I'll give you an example of what that looks like. You know, they make um, a big mistake in pricing and their big mistake in pricing causes everything else to fail. So, for example, um, you might get somebody who, you know, works as an HVAC technician. He works for another company and he's like, you know what? Um, I've just sold a million dollars this year or whatever it is. I want, um, you know, I'm going to start my own company so I, I can, you know, um, 
you know, do this. And uh, what they might think to themselves is, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge less money per, uh, per job. And, yep. you know, they're like, all right, well, I can do that because it's just me and, you know, whatever, lower overhead. And that might make sense in the beginning. But if that person ever wants to have like a real business with real employees and like an office and like an office manager, turns out they needed to charge those higher prices. And what they will eventually find out is, you know, their initial employer wasn't this greedy, you know, <laughs> SOB. The guy was actually just charging the fair amount that he needed to charge in order to have a business with, you know, somewhat healthy margins. And so when you encounter prospects, um, it's really great to dig in, you know, with what they're charging. And if somebody is undercharging, you know, that's, that's a real big mistake. You know, that's something that's going to wind up biting them in the ass. Well, biting um, us in the ass too, especially because. Absolutely. Because now. We, yeah. Cause we need to make sure there's one thing, this, this all can boil down to one, one kind of like idea, which is I need to make sure that when I do what I do right and do best, that these people will be able to make the money and benefit from it and continue to pay me that it's that simple. It's like, it's like, if I'm like, if I'm working at home Depot and I see this guy, um, you know, can't, you know, screw a hole into the wall. I'm just not going to like sell him this tool. I'm like, bro, I, you know, there's no way that you can use this hammer drill. You're just like going to fail. Like you should just hire someone else. I'm not going to sell you this tool because that's going to be a fail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I mean, some people aren't ready for it. They're not even ready. They're not ready for the, the, uh, the SEO and the benefits that it would bring. Um, and uh, th that's the reason why they're, you know, in the, in the, appointment that was set, there was all these qualifying questions because, um, you know, we wanted to make sure that this was actually somebody who was in the position to benefit and, you know, could actually handle this. Um, I would also um, urge you guys to think about your own businesses, you know, in your own agency. So I, I think one of the, the really huge benefits of Fusion is the fact that in Fusion, you know, the pricing is, is kind of set for you. We talk about, that 595, the 995, the 1495 price points. We talk about the 75% gross profit margins. And the reason why that's important is because um, we want you guys to have healthy businesses yourself. You know, don't go out there selling $300 SEO, you know, or You're gonna bite yourself, shoot yourselves in the foot for sure. Yeah. And don't, you know, don't go out there selling 1495 SEO and then try to rank the guy, you know, nationwide for like 12 cities or anything like that, you know, like use those margins to sort of like, you know, uh, keep you in check in terms of what you can accomplish, you know, for your clients. Um, and if you need, if you need to charge more to get them the result, you know, charge more, but keep your margins, keep them, keep them strong because otherwise, you know, you might as well just work at McDonald's. <laughs> Well, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Um, um, but, but you're honestly kind of making the 2000, right? Yes. Okay. And then so for 300, is that the total cost or what your profit is? It's a profit. The 2000. Okay. It's now pause. Huge, huge, huge. Me knowing what the profit is versus um, the, the gross is, is enormous because well, you'll see it right now. <laughs> let's just be, let's you let it happen. Profit. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. That's good. It's good to keep good margins there. So, if if we're talking about let's call it just three hundred for a round number, um, thirty times three hundred, we're looking at about nine thousand uh, dollars in profit per month. And now, of course. Like we're not, I didn't even factor in any installs or, you know, big repairs. I mean, because if you got 30 phone calls, you can imagine that, you know, sorry, 30 jobs, at least, you know, two or three of them are going to be an install, right? Yes. Yeah. But so let's, you know, we don't even need, you know, let's call it 10,000 total, right? I'm not even, you know, counting those because those are going to be icing on the cake. And Michael, if you pause for a second, 
I think we we can almost even like we've hit everything we need to hit in some ways. I like sneak preview, right? We talk about the parallel process. It's like I need to make sure that this guy is the right fit for me and like he's going to be helped by this. I pretty much solved that issue right now because I know that he takes on he does enough business that if I brought him more business, he'd be able to handle it. I know that if I bring him that business that he can handle from just like a a, a practical standpoint that he'd be able to turn that business into profit. And I also know there's the third thing I know now, which is that if he buys my service for 1500 bucks, which is what I'm going to charge him, he doesn't know that yet, that if he pays 1500 bucks, he's going to make at least $9,000 in profit, profit. And so I know that the re for the rest of this call, I got to get this guy to buy, not just for me, but for him. He's going to make so much money because his business is built properly. I go, um, let's go look at my, uh, oops, my company. I actually have a cool Instagram here. Um, Instagram. So this is my company's Instagram. And what we do is every Friday, what we do is we post um, some results from our, our clients that we've gotten them. So these guys got um, 206 calls in 30 days, which is 121% improvement. Um, you know, these guys, here we go, sorry. Uh, this company got 138 from Google My Business, up 165. So we're showing um, the PM Now Instagram. The PM Now Instagram, by the way, is something that you guys can show prospects. Um, you can say like, hey, you know, um, especially when you're just starting out, the Instagram is something like, you know, you can build up very, very easily over time. Um, even if you're working on your own site, you can, um, you know, track what the... Uh, what the rankings are looking like as they're improving over time. You can track the traffic, um, leads, every single new client that you get, you can show that, uh, you can show this. Um, but in the beginning, when you're just getting your, your first, you know, uh, handful of clients, yep. you can, you know, and you can talk to people about, Hey, you know, um, um, these are the guys that I learned SEO from, and I'm following the exact same path that these guys are using. So you can reference the PM now Instagram. Um, there is a fusion underground Instagram that you can also, um, that you can also point to, which shows some, um, some results. It's, it's a lot. little bit less up to date than the PM now, uh, one is, um, this is certainly something that, you know, get started and, um, and start to build over time. Yep. And so, yeah, just to show the Instagram, but I really want to go to 3248 where I start to talk about my story. So one of the important pieces, um, so when you have your own business, you have the benefit of being able to, um, to like talk about why people should work with you or the personal element of the business. So uh, for me, you know, you're going to hear the story in a second, if you haven't already heard it, this is where I talk about where I meet Michael. And um, it's important because this person you know, if you listen to the original call, like they're just like skeptical as hell. And like, they need to, they need to be able to grab on to something more than just like me giving them this pitch because in their minds, and you may hear this in just a second, it's just like, so you told me all this stuff, but sounds kind of similar, but so I'm just trying to give them as many things, as many handholds as possible for them to see why we're different. Yeah, that's, that's really great that you just mentioned that, Eric. And I just want to highlight that is even after 32 minutes in, even after going through the age refs, you know, all the things that we talked about, the ROI calculator, he's still thinking you guys sound a lot like these other people. And so now it becomes less about the process and more about the people. And um, the information that we're going to share right now, this story was something that we developed, um, we always knew this, but it really got crystallized after working with uh, Chris Cunningham over at uh, Video Creation Academy. And um, working with him, he was able to ask us a series of questions, um, which, which talked about, you know, like, why do we do this, you know, this thing that we do? Um, and, you know, what challenges we help our, our customers um, overcome. And that was able to elicit these stories, uh, you know, from from us. Yeah, and, and also like, why do we do it? Like for me, there there's a reason behind why I do it. Totally. Um, so we'll play this, and we can talk a little bit more about it afterwards. Figured it out over time, and I I changed. I had to stop 
doing that because, you know, I got to sell things that actually help people. And then it was about three years ago. So, that I yeah, I mean, so just Michael. to give people a back, I, I was just saying that I, the, I worked at a, you know, a big company and they weren't delivering results. And that, that was pretty much just the yeah. only preface you needed. Yeah. And you guys can always like reference the, um, the raw file and the transcript, you know, to get some more background on this. Um, where is Michael here? Uh, where I met Michael, you can see him in this, um, in this picture. And I found out, oops. And I found out from talking to Michael that he, we could actually do an amazing job together because Michael has been an SEO for, uh, since 2013. So because he's been around for such a long time, he knows everything about SEO. And it took me a while to trust him, you know, because I'm skeptical just like you. But after three years, we decided, hey, let's start this HVAC company that is, sorry, this uh, SEO company just for HVAC contractors. You know, now let's, let's just do it just for them because I love HVAC guys. And let's focus on this one thing that makes them the most money. So that's really the story of, of how we got everything rolling here. So does that, did I get to answer your question on like, what can, what are we going to bring you and, um, and you know, what can you expect there? Uh, yeah, I guess uh, it does. Uh, yeah, it sounds about the same as uh, all the other ones. Um, but <laughs> can you raise the volume on this, Michael? Just all the way, and then and just rewind. Yeah. Well, that's like, just I, I want you to hear. There's the non sequitur that he's like, well, uh, he didn't like say anything. And then he just like eventually lets it out. It's like, yeah, well, not more. sold, essentially. Um, a couple more seconds back for a second, Michael. What's, 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 What's what's the cost of all this? Yeah, well, that's the thing that kind of gets me is it's definitely it, so pause it, right now. So he essentially, right, like he says, this is the same as everything else. How much, How much does it cost? cost? So let, let's just like fast forward on this. So everything else didn't work, but this is the same as that. So at this point. If I tell him this is a million dollars, or if I tell him it's one dollar, does he believe it's going to work? Of course not. Doesn't same, matter. Same as that thing that he uh, wasted the money on before. Yeah. What am I going What can I even <laughs> tell him as far as price that's going to convince him that, that to buy this? There's nothing that I can tell him. This also kind of undercuts what we just said because you did tell him about the story, but it was after the story. He's like, "All right, this is the same as everything else." So let's see what gets him over the, uh, the yeah. hump on that. Sounds about the same as all the other ones. What, what's the, what are the other ones that you're referring to? Like when I, I get calls all the time, tell people that, uh, well, put it this way, you're the first guy that I actually talked to hmm. in the last six months. As soon as they, they try to tell me something about the business, I just hang up. I tell them hmm. I'm not interested in hang up, and I get about 20 calls a month. Um, and I always give them the first minute to explain what they're doing as long as I hear it's the same thing I tell them not interested they hang up mm. um, it's, so it's, tell me why it's a little different uh, but it's close to the other ones now <clears throat> I got no problem paying um, if I see customers are coming in more than what we usually have I got no problems buying other services uh, yep. I do have problems when, when somebody tells me that they're going to be bringing customers in, but then they put me in competition with other other companies, and we're not the cheapest one here in, in town, um, and there's a lot of guys, well, you don't live in nothing. There's a lot of people that are doing their own thing on the side, and... and um, it's, yeah, guys with a truck. Yeah, and it makes it hard when it right? when show up. Yeah, yeah. So, so pause one more it. second, Michael. Mm -hmm. What's really great is like he's pretty much saying here, it's not the price. I can definitely, I'm willing to pay money for something that works. So now I know that, and we know how much money he makes. He makes enough money in his business. I know that if he doesn't say yes to this, it's not just because it's not because of the money. It's really not. And he's saying, I'll spend on things that work. So it's a really good place that he is. 
So we know that the burden of proof right now is really just to show him something that he believes is going to work. That's it. So I'm really concerned on, like, I understand everything you're saying. I know that we're not going to see changes right away. Um, but I guess the most important thing is on the price. If, if, if it's something that's out of reach right now, um, mm -hmm. I will really have to think about it. And, and, and I, I will have to talk to Eric to make sure that uh, he looks at your company, what you guys done, and, and, and does a little bit more research. Um, and then we can see, but... I don't know much about computers. Um, I don't like them. That's why I got pay Eric to sit in front of a computer. I'm <laughs> the and just um, uh, foreshadowing, Eric is the guy who, uh, Eric is the guy who's like kind of like an office manager. And uh, eventually he's the one who uh, needs to get the buy-in in order for, for this to go through. Yep. Working on um, Yeah. Well, yeah, just... Uh, just tell me, man, what's the price on this? And, and, and see, see if I can handle it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I'm so pretty sure he can. what he is saying here, though, is kind of like it's not discouraging. It's it's really um, it's like I'm willing to spend money to make money, but like I'm not spending five thousand bucks to make the money. Like, yeah. he's like, I, is there, there's a real cap for him as far as how much money he'll spend, even if he maybe even if he knew it works. That. So, go ahead. Yeah, and, and, and in a way, this is actually like the perfect demo to be sharing with um, really with beginners, but also, you know, people like, you know, just to be if, if we had to pick one demo to share, this is a really good one to share, you know, with uh, this fusion audience, because, you know, not only does it, it start with somebody who is highly skeptical, you know, who's tried this before, which thinks you know, they have. Or thinks they have, yeah, which is something that you guys are likely to encounter. Um, it's somebody who doesn't really know that much about SEO, and so the explanations have to start out early. But even after all of this, you know, we're going through a lot of um, objection handling. Um, you know, there's 37 minutes in, and we're pretty <laughs> much entering into the close, you know, which is uh, in many ways, you know, Eric, you, you like to say just starting the call. Yeah. You know, finding out what, um, you know, we what are just are, starting it. Yeah. What's really what's really happening here. And it's and it's evidenced by how long this uh, this takes. So, yeah, it takes a lot longer than usual because, you know, I'm, I'm just essentially doing whatever it takes during this guy's business because I know we're going to do a great job for him. Because the majority of the people that we work with. Um, are, you know, our businesses like yourself, they got two, maybe five trucks, even who knows, 10, it depends. But um, yeah, I mean, the, what I'm just from hearing from you is probably the average person that we work with spends about 1500 bucks a month. Um, and they, you can see why they would, because, you know, we bring them a lot of phone calls and we get them a lot of business. You know, they don't pay us because, you know, they think I'm a cool guy. Um, they pay us because we get them a lot of calls. I mean, if you, if you look at uh, this business, you know, let's just look at the last 30 days. I mean, how many, what we've done for them. Remember, they've been with us since uh, November. Um, if we look at their calls, um, you know, just the last 30 days, we've got, they got a 453 calls. Yep. So pause another second. Um, so the, the point is here is I give him the price or I give him the range of price because I just want to know what he thinks is like a crazy price. And he hasn't jumped away and gotten scared off yet. So, you know, that worked fine for me. Uh, but after I say that, I go right into, hey, the price isn't crazy. And now I'm going to help you understand, like, how much you're going to get and show them all the phone calls and the results. Yeah, that's something I've noticed that you do really well is, and this is something that I made a mistake in when I was just starting out. I would just be like, and the price is $1 million. And I would just like wait, <laughs> and um, what you tend to like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, and what, what you tend to do is is actually be like, all right, well, you know, and it's fifteen hundred dollars, um, and the results that you're going to get are, are somewhat in line with X, Y, and Z, and so, you know, and so it's it's much more like um, it's definitely a smoother way to handle it, but it also puts in context, which is cool. So something for you guys to practice at home. And I constantly hear this over and over again it's like, like you know i get a million different calls but you guys are the first guys that ever, ever ever actually done anything for me that's exactly what these guys said you know and uh you know we we work with them to get them more calls 
um, over time. You know, like if I look at, um, you know, let's say I looked at a couple of months ago, you know, let's say uh, April through May, uh, you know, we've done even better. For you know, oh, we didn't call yeah, so at the time. We could, we could fast forward a little bit further, but I just essentially I'm using, I'm showing another client that we got results for. And so um, I'm just kind of, like hitting him over the head with proof, proof, proof over and over again, or with, and by the way, even before we had any, um, like we had this kind of stuff the, I would just like, I would use whatever I could I'd be like, Hey, you know, look, we have this one, we use someone else's case study for a while. And we'd show like, Hey, look what they're ranking. Look at this keyword. It's a hard keyword. Like it, you know, you, you use whatever you've got, but I've sold deals to people, um, you know, without ever having a client. I've started businesses before when we had no clients multiple times. Yeah. And um, it's, it's also never, it's not, they're not all going to be this difficult, you know? Oh, yeah, some, definitely not. There's some people who are just like, oh, wow, you know, that's really cool. I really appreciate the way you explain that. This is, this is what I want. And I mean, I think about, um, you know, one of the demos that we went over last week for, you know, the, our advanced course. And yeah, it was literally just like that, you know, he, he yeah. It was literally like, oh, okay, yeah, 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 I want to do this. I know I want to do this. Yeah, I've wanted to do this, yeah. Exactly. What's, so, what's so amazing, you know, to me with um, Octavio, and then also I'm thinking about that other that other demo, is the fact that, <clears throat> you know, I would have never thought that those deals were going to close. If I had just, like, heard 10 seconds in the beginning, you know, some of the ways, like, the skepticism or some of the things that they were saying, I would have think to myself, like, ah, oh, no chance in hell. But, um, you know, you bring them through the process and um, you can close some deals and build your, build your business and help a lot of people along the way. At the end of the day, all you need, you know, all you need to know from what I'm hearing, Octavio, is to know that we're doing what we're doing. We're, you know, we're getting you better rankings and then bringing you the phone calls and, and showing you that we're bringing you those phone calls. Right? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not telling that you that you're going to get a, you know, 230 a month. Um, but the what I what I gave you is a very good estimate of how many calls you can expect once we start having this kick in. So, I mean, we talked about $10,000 in profit, you know, just from the 300 clicks or 60 phone calls. But we know that's going to be a lot more than that. That's the low ball. And at fifteen hundred bucks a month, that's that's a that's a small fraction of that. I mean, if you could put fifteen hundred dollars into a, a box and get out ten thousand dollars every month, at, you know, at least you'd be like, hell yeah, get me another fifteen hundred bucks, right? Yeah. I mean, that's how that's how we our business is set up. Not a single one of our clients uh, is on an obligation to pay us. There's no contract that we have whatsoever. They pay us because we bring them the results. And if we don't bring you results, then you shouldn't pay us. I mean, that, that's how it is. I mean, people are impressed with us. Um, as soon as they start working together, like, oh man, yeah, you guys are doing a great, great job. You know, it takes time for the, you to build some momentum. But the second that happens, you're like, man, these guys are the first guys that have ever actually done anything for me. So um, I think what the best thing to do, this is my recommendation on Tech Video, is that you give us, uh, give us this opportunity to go to work for you and build your, build your SEO. Um, what that looks like is going onto your site, building up um, all the different pages that need to get built. So see how thin this page is. If I if I go to a company, um, uh, let me sorry, AC Repair Elgin. If I go to Custom and look at these guys' page. You'll see that they have multiple different pages that they built out for different services, right? So there's um, oops. So, there's, yeah. So what I'm Michael pause. Yeah. What I'm doing here essentially is I'm not just telling him to like give us the opportunity at this point i'm telling them give us the opportunity and like remember this is the th this is the things that we do so like there's just some things that are associated like he's not just taking a leap of faith but like i'm paying to get these actions done yeah and what i what i like is that you know you by asking for the business um when you say like you know can you give us the opportunity to go you know to do this for you it, it really, it really gets out of the prospect, you know, what's standing in the way, you yep. know, and, and if you've got like really good rapport, you know, the person will be honest with you and, and, and say like, Hey, this is the issue. And so, you know, after you address that issue, ask for the business again, you know, to find yep. out like, 
is that issue handled or is there another thing? Is there another objection yep. in the way? And that's why what else you got. Yeah, exactly. And that's why you, you, you know, it's, it's really about asking for the business um, a few times to find out, you know, like, all right, what else can we, uh, can we get, can we get through? And then listening, you know, really listening, really caring about, you know, what it is that they have to say and what's behind what they're saying and what their objections are. Yep. Um, should I just, uh, fast yeah, forward keep, to yeah, actually keep going. I want, I want people to hear me ask for the business, just, um, you know, cooling systems, or there's a repair page or whatever it may be. They've got all of those things built out. They've got content on the page. So if I go I'll click on maintenance, they're going to get a, pa a page that talks about maintenance. And then there's all this other content on it. And so that's part of what we do for you. Um, and then the other thing is we build you all sorts of different links so that you're popular on Google. And every month we do more work for you. We also get you ranking with your Google My Business listing, which I haven't seen here, but um, let's say, uh, what is it called? In, in town HVAC. So this listing, you can see, um, you, know, you guys have some reviews, but we got we to build out your description and put pictures on and, and do the Q&A section and all this other stuff that we're going to handle for you once you give us the opportunity. And I could, you know, I could go into this much more, but it sounds like you're pretty saturated as far as, you know, how much internet marketing stuff I've talked to you about so far. Is, does that sound reasonable? You can do this. So if um, I tell you what I'm asking is, I know we're going to do an awesome job for you. Um, you know, you're not under any obligation to work with us. I, I've showed you, you know, a ton of different uh, examples of us kicking ass, and I can walk you through even more. But it's going to, why bother? It's like beating a dead horse. Um, we allow us that opportunity to go to work for you and do this work for you and kick ass at your SEO. Yeah. But, um, but how much is it again? Well, there's, like I said, the average person we work with spends um, fourteen ninety five. Now, if, if if for some reason, I would recommend that you you know you start there, uh, only because you seem pretty you seem pretty skeptical, um, which is totally fine. All of the people we work with are skeptical, but I mean, there's people that spend more money than that on a monthly basis. But you know, the way I see it is, you know, what, you could do that once you say, hey, I like these guys, I trust them, um, and I'm willing to spend more money, and you see results, and it's not going to be an issue for you to do that. But right now, I recommend that you start off with you know the most popular one, which is the fourteen ninety five. Does that sound fair enough? So it's fourteen eighty five. So it's one thousand four hundred ninety five dollars a month. Yes, that's exactly it. <laughs> and we're on one point five speed. So there's yeah. a lot of. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, this is. Uh... Right, um. So like a lot of money, man. Just for, for what if it's a <laughs> what the. Uh -huh. no, you know what? I won't be able to do it, man. Fourteen ninety five is way too much right now. Uh, uh, to put at risk. Uh, like I said, it, it it is something different than other companies that you showed me, but uh, it's 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 about the same. Not not nothing. <laughs> it's, it's close. It's different from other companies, <laughs> but it's the same. Yeah, well, no, we've we broke. You can see we've chipped away at that, though. You can see he definitely he he, and he he wants to be right about it being the same, so he doesn't have to take a risk. But he knows it isn't. I understand. Well, I mean, what I'm hearing from you is, if everything goes the way that I say that it's going to go, then you're going to be happy and make plenty of. You're going to make the money there, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but it's the only way it's going to be a lot of money is if it doesn't work, right? Or else it's, or else it's going to, you know, totally be worth it for you. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So it is going to work for you. Like this, this is, you know, we have been around doing an amazing job uh, for over eight years, sorry, eight, sorry, seven years each in, in the industry, just with HVAC for me. Uh, I, you know, I'm the one that got us into this and doing SEO just for that. You know, there's really only company that I know of that does just SEO for HVAC companies. And so, you know, that makes us complete specialists on what we do. But what's the, uh, what's the, you know, what, what manufacturers are you, uh, do you install? Uh, train, train in York. I'm mostly train right now. Yep. And so if train you know, is going to pay for some of this, did you know that? Um, I'm not sure. They do have, yeah. Well, uh, so this yeah. is something that's just very particular to our niche. So the way that it works is the manufacturers will 
um, we'll have sort of like um, co-op dollars. It's kind of like a rebate, if you guys can imagine that, where a manufacturer will um, cover some of the uh, the marketing costs for um, for their customers. You know, for these you know these HVAC contractors, if they sell above a certain threshold. So if they sell, you know, if they buy, you know, 100 units they get like a credit, a marketing credit that they, you know, that they can get back at the end of the year. Yeah. And so we can, we can actually fast forward because I'm just talking about more evidence and I bring it back to, you know, why we're so great. And then you could hit up um, 5441 or you know, right around there. Go ahead. This is good. The only way you're spending, right. It's 1495. The only way you spend um, like $18,000 a year on this is if you're making a crap load of money because you can cancel at any time that you, you know, with 30 days notice, if you don't think that we're doing great, but I know you will, because we, because if, that we, we wouldn't exist. We can't be in business. We lose money on the first month. If you work together, you, you give us 1495, I'm losing money, but I'm betting on us doing a great job and you staying with us indefinitely. Cause that's what everyone else does. Right. Just like, you know, sometimes you have to give a customer a coupon or, you know, you give them a break so that you can earn their business for life. Yes. Yeah, I mean that's the same way we work. Right? You know that it makes it smooth for us when you know you can rely on us, and we know that you know you're going to continue to pay us for the great work we do. That's how our business is designed. So, Octavia, okay, we will allow this opportunity to go to work and get your site ranking and do an amazing job for you. I know. I'm really afraid of spending uh, money that, uh, especially right now with the pandemic and all that, are. are... We're not doing as, as good as we usually do in the summer. Um, now, why don't you provide the service for the two months until I start seeing some, some difference? And I'll give you a call myself. And I'll, and once I start seeing more calls and more money, I'll call you and pay you two thousand dollars or the four thousand dollars for the for the two months. So you do Can't it do it. Free. Can't do it. I won't do it. That's not how we do business. That's like someone saying, "Put me a new unit in. Pay your pay your installer. Pay for the unit up front. And then in three, you know, four months from now, if my unit still works, I'll pay you." You'd never agree to that, even though you know your unit's going to work. That's just not how your business works. But I, I know behind what you're suggesting, behind what you're saying is I need to pay for something that's going to work for me. But I'm just going to pause here. Like I really, um, so one of the one of the things you know we've gone over in um, in uh, the training is in you know more more in depth uh, sales training is this idea that all objections really just boil down to this one objection, which is like I don't think it's going to work. And um, what I really like is that, you know, number one, you know, this guy offers, you know, this, hey, hey, I'll pay for results later on. If you guys, if, if you guys hear that, just like shut it down immediately. Um, but what's, what's also really, because, you know, you're paying for backlinks, you know, just remember you're paying for backlinks. And so, um, you know, that would, that, that could potentially be a really bad uh, situation for you. But um what I really like is that, you know, Eric over here, you, you, um, you address that head on. You said, can't do it, can't do it. But then you moved on to like, what I'm hearing behind this is that, you know, you're just not sure it's going to work. And, <clears throat> and then you just continue to, uh, to, uh, to respond to that. that that's exactly it. Is that Michael pause for a second. That's exactly it. Is that this guy, like, you can't let it be like, Oh man, this guy is, um, this guy's not willing to pay. What he's really is just scared. This is like the thing that he says because he's scared. That's it. There's nothing else behind it. He's not even demanding that he gets free service until it works. He, in his mind, like this is the way to get safety. That's why he's doing it or saying it. And uh, you know that's not going to get him safety ultimately. Well, it's not going to get going to me to do me. the business the way I but want. It's not. You know, your business alone is being affected by the pandemic because you're not getting calls from people who don't know who you are because i have actually let me see back up just a little bit more but i i know i pay your installer pay for the unit front and then in three you know four months from now if my unit still works i'll pay you You'd never agree to that, even though you know your unit's going to work. That's just not how your business works. But I, I know behind what you're suggesting, behind what you're saying is I need to pay for something that's going to work for me. But it's not, you know, your business alone is being affected by the pandemic 
because you're not getting calls from people who don't know who you are. Because I have I have data from Service Titan that that people are making as much or more money than they were making before the pandemic. This is a recession proof. We have clients that are making more money than they were before the whole thing. So I'm just going to pause here. So uh, Service Titan is um, a really big uh, software platform for home service businesses. And they offer a bunch of data about, you know, how um, their clients are doing in, in aggregate, which is, which is helpful here. Um, one of the benefits in the, you know, post pandemic uh, world is identifying businesses that are, you know, doing well after the pandemic. So um, you, we've spoken a, a lot uh, in this call, in this, um, in this training about, you know, um, working with the right types of businesses. And so right now, I don't know if you want to work with gyms. I don't know if you want to work with restaurants, um, but emergency I don't know home. I ever want to work with restaurants, by the way. Mm -hmm. Emergency home services is, is really good because we found that, um, you know, looking at service Titan data, like uh, across the U.S., that emergency home services are essentially flat. Um, I think divorce is, is up right now. Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's a niche you want to get into. Um, and also, like anecdotally, um, with our clients, we found a lot of clients are, are up around like 30%, you know, on the year and some people like way, way more than that. And so um, this is, this seems to, to really be like, you know, getting off of the, the pandemic is being an excuse over here. Yeah, it's really not. The real, the real reason why he's just not getting calls is because um, he doesn't have enough. He's just not getting calls from people who need his service. who don't already know who he is. That's it. Yeah. So I'm going to fast forward to uh, 103. Go ahead. Wait, we, can, we're, we rank in the Google My Business and the organic, getting you lots of calls. So I know it's going to be like a, a leap of faith or a stretch from you. But if you give us this opportunity, uh, I know that you're going to be impressed. Will you allow us to get that opportunity and, and do a great job? No, man, I can't. Right now it's... Uh, <laughs> Sorry. I can't get as many or do as many installations as I was hoping to for the summer. Um, so, yeah, no, I wouldn't be able to do it. I would have given up like well before this is like oh, yeah. the great the great and i think any any rational person would or rather anybody who doesn't have the experience yeah i just had i just know that he wants to get dude if he, he said this just think about the real evidence here just like what's really there that he's saying behind the no he's like i never take calls from people but i'm taking this call i i i would pay for something that worked but i don't know if this is going to work like all of the conditions for him signing up are there. Uh, he does 80 service calls a month and he makes uh, $300 per call. So that's $24,000 that like he's making. So you don't think this guy can afford this? Of course he can. And then of course his installs, he's doing like at least, you know, two, a couple installs a week, right? That's plus 8,000. Uh, his business is $32,000 a month, minimum, minimum. And so he's definitely got money, right? But he's just not making as much money as he wanted maybe. And that's, that's just like the key thing to remember is like, he can do this. He wouldn't, he would have hung up the phone if he couldn't pay 1500 bucks. You know, I know people don't, who couldn't, you know, can't pay that. They hang up. They run, they actually run from, they're like, Hey dude, I got to stop you right now. There is no way I can spend that. Yeah. I've been on those calls before. That's exactly right. That's what that sounds like. This doesn't sound like somebody who, yeah, he can, he can afford it. Yeah. And Oh, don't forget. Um, so many people would have dropped the price. So mm. many people. The reason why I don't is because I don't like to get paid less than what we need. Uh, or I, we will want to have our clients at a certain level. But also, ultimately, like if this this guy technically could pay us a thousand dollars a month, we could give him a thousand dollars worth of SEO. But I know that where he's located is very competitive, and if I have him paying less money, the likelihood of us getting results shortly it decreases. And if that decreases, I'm shooting myself in the foot and shooting him in the foot because let's say you know four months in, he's not like getting a lot, even though we said six months, right? four months and he's not getting a lot. Now he's thinking about canceling. And if he does, he's out $4,000 instead yep. of 
Yeah. And so I don't want him to be out and I don't want us to stop working with him because we did make this guy a new website and that cost us money too. So, yeah. And you got to think to yourself as you know, if you know, you're doing, if you're doing like the whole one man gang thing or one woman gang thing that, um, you know, you need to make enough money so that you're motivated to actually do the work. Like I remember, um, I remember, uh, I was, I was talking to a dentist and, um, it was some type of, um, there's some type of treatment that he offered, and you just say it was like two thousand dollars. It's like, well, why do you want to do? Why do you charge two thousand dollars for that? And his response is, well, I, I charge do less than that. I kind of just, you know, it's not enough for me to like really want to do a good job. And if you, <laughs> if you guys like, if you fold on on pricing that you want, you know, to do the job, you're gonna have a similar feeling. You're gonna have a similar feeling where you're working on somebody, and it's just gonna pop up in the back of your head, like, oh man, this guy's only paying me what to do all of this. And you don't want that at all. Yeah. We we've had that recently with somebody. Um, now he gave us, he's giving us a referral and he's helping us with you know other stuff, but like, I'm always keeping in my mind. I'm like, damn, is this guy like paying us enough money for us to do a great job? And we are doing a great job for him, but like it sits in the back of my head there. It makes me feel regretful. Um, so I don't want to create situations like that, you know, because we've had that experience before. So uh, where we were at, we're at the uh, yeah, 103, 44 mark. Go ahead. Just got, uh, yeah, business wasn't going as well this summer as you wanted to. I mean, wouldn't the solution be to get more business? Well, no, I understand getting more business is what we need, but uh, in two months, I'm going to be about $3,000 short if this doesn't work. And, and, and that's where we get into the problems. Yeah, well, if you're not actually, yeah, let me be clear. You're not going to get calls in, in two months. That's not the timeline of how this works. Mm -hmm. Wow, pause. Than... Can you, so this guy's like, if I'm going to be out in two months if I don't get anything. And I, rather than saying like something like, um, well, maybe you will. I'm like, no, you won't get calls in two months. Like where, where I'm coming from with that is like, I need to keep the expectations in the right spot. Got to keep them there. Got to keep the expectations in the right spot. Even if it means I lose the deal right now, because there is no, first of all, I don't have a deal. I don't believe in losing a deal. I don't want someone coming on board expecting two months results. It's just, I can't expose my team to that. Can't expose Michael to it. And so I just want to make him clear, like you're not going to get results in two months. And if he yeah. jumps ship then, then great. Yeah, then it, then it wasn't meant to be. Um, one thing that we've been developing also is this idea that, you know, you budget for six months. So um, uh, a prospect should understand like budget for six months of the service and our data shows us that clients see an uptick in, um, in, um, in calls to, to give a positive return on investment between four and six months. So again, it's, you know, you should budget six months. You should have it in the budget to pay us for six months without getting anything. But in our experience, you know, clients get a positive ROI between four to six months. So um, this way it's, they, they understand, you know, all right, around month four or five and then month six, that's when this thing really is going to be kicking in for me. Yep. Uh, so let me, let me be clear on that. It's going to take longer for you to get results. And I know that you're new to the game of understanding uh, SEO and how this works, but the typical timeline that I would give for a business is, is six months for that to really start get hitting the stride of like those, you know, those 30 jobs, those 30 new calls, 60 new calls on a monthly basis. I mean, it, it would be crazy. It'd be too good, too good to be true. If I told you I was going to bring you 30 new jobs a month starting two months for 1500 bucks, that's a joke. I mean, if something sounds too good to be true, then it is. I'm not, I'm not promising you the world here. I'm, I'm telling you that if you let us build up your business on Google, you will start getting phone calls. And because if you think about, if I look at all these guys, um, you know, if I look at all time um, and I look from December to, well, we weren't tracking calls until uh, earlier on, but it takes time for these guys to, to rank. I'm showing them our, our client's results just now, right? Just yeah. To be clear. I think we can fast forward to the uh, 118 mark. Okay. You know, it seems like there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot more analogies and stuff. You guys can, you know, take a look at this um, in the raw version and on the transcript, but this is just, it's more objection handling. Um, and again, what's the one objection is uh, 
I'm not sure it's going to work. So let's see what comes up over here. Wait, you want to go to one seat? Yeah, let's Is that see accurate? that. Yeah, we're not going back or anything like that. We're not closing. Um, like I said, uh, we last year we were doing two, three installs uh, the whole summer from when the summer starts to when it ends. Per day. This year, I guess people don't have enough, uh, enough money or whatever. The, the calls are pretty much about the same, but the installs is, is what changed. Um, you did one install a day, you said? In the summer, yes. Right now, it's, it's, getting, it's getting slow, but since it was slow already, it, it got a lot slow. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, it's like I said, the money's not so much of an issue. It's just uh, it's just putting so much money that, uh, into this. Um, I'm not sure it makes it makes it just hard. Cause I definitely got to talk to Eric and see what he thinks. See if if, uh, if he thinks it's okay to try it. Um, if it's if it's especially if it's different than other other calls, because he's the one that's been answering any other service or people that call us. Um, I tell him to check them out. He tells me they're the same and that, and that's it. We don't, we don't believe yeah, but, any of it. Well, uh, you know, because you haven't really tried any SEO, like what I'm talking about, what we do, I don't think it's possible for you to say, is it the same? I mean, it's not the same. What we do isn't the same, and the service that we provide isn't the same as the services you're talking about. But I think, you know, I'm happy to talk to Eric, by the way. I don't know if he's going to be able to without evaluate whether or not this is, you know, the thing that's right for you. But you, I think if you ask yourself, do you feel like this is something that's going to help you and that, you know, Eric and Michael, me and, me and my partner, that we're, you know, that we're going to actually help you and do what we say we're going to? What do you think? Do you feel like that's the case? Well, I don't know. I don't know if that's what you're like. Are you asking what, what I think? Yeah, I'm totally asking what you think, and I yeah, be honest. I don't know, man. I, I, every person that I talk to, I think they're gonna do what they're gonna say. Because usually, when I say I'm gonna do something, I do it. Um, so I don't know. It's, I, I, I do understand everything you show me. It does sound sounds like it is gonna be of some help. Um, but uh, but I'm not sure right now. Yeah, well, I, I I do appreciate that you you know that, that you believe that we're going to help you, but I'm telling you what we're going what we're going to do is what, what I say we're going to do is what we're going to do. I mean, I, I'm not like what what do you feel like you need? You tell me this is what do you need to to like what's missing for you to just say yes? I know I need to be found. I know I need people to find me who are looking for AC repair and furnace repair in Elgin, my area. Like it's obvious. Like this is a no-brainer. Like what do you need to hear from me or to know that we are what we can do for you for you to say yeah I want to give these guys an opportunity. It's a great question. Yeah. Well, no, it's not about hearing something. It's just, uh, I'm just a, a little scared on uh, if it's going to work or not. <laughs> it's yeah. Not so much of, a, of what I need to hear. I don't understand, like, half the stuff you, you showed me. I do understand it was, was telling me what it is, but I, I really don't understand how it works, what you guys do. I don't understand. Um, oh, you're not alone. I'm usually out in the field. The only thing I understand is heating and air conditioning. And, and <laughs> um, now, things like this, I'm pretty sure you know a lot, and, and you're, you're trying to sell a good service, but it is it is kind of hard for me to say yes to something, especially fourteen hundred dollars. For me, it's a lot of money. Um, I don't think I think it's a lot of money for anyone. Um, but and I think what you're saying about um, being being an expert in heating and air, and me being an expert in SEO, that's exactly right. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't ask my guy to install my Mitsubishi. I wouldn't try to install a Mitsubishi Mini Split that I'm going to buy next month myself. I'd have to hire a guy that knows what he's doing. And now, of course, there's like a risk of, I'm going to have to take the advice of my HVAC contractor. And then I, that this is how many BTUs I need. And this is how many heads I need in order for it to work well. I have to take their advice because I know that they're an expert. Right? I know that you know, my guy is a Mitsubishi you know, double dime. There's a lot going on just there. Yeah. Which I think is important to break down. Like One thing I, I really like is there is the um, getting in the same side, getting in the same category as him. You know, the same category being of um, a respectable bit, a, a respectable business owner who um, who um, has integrity and like does what they say they're going to do. So you know, he talks about like, yeah, you know, I always do what I say I'm going to do, and you know, you're implying that you know you're in the same thing, you're you're the same way. Yeah. Um, and the other big piece about it, and this is, again, something that we go on um, in much more depth in sales machine, is the benefits of, uh, of, having a, of being in a niche because 
you know, when you, when you're in a niche and you're able to speak um, a prospect's language. So right now you're talking about mini splits, which are, you know, something that's particular to uh, the HVAC industry. This makes somebody feel more comfortable that like, Oh, okay. You know, you are, um, you know, you're on the same side as me and you understand uh, you understand my business. Um, And the third thing I wanted to mention is, is, um, you know, like I, I'm really, really grateful for Octavio here. And one of the things that, um, that I'm really impressed by with him is his honesty. You know, yeah. like this guy is extremely um, insightful uh, about himself and knowing, you know, what's stopping him. And he's being really, really honest with, uh, with you in this call. And um, for everybody listening, you know, what that benefits you is because, you know, this is, this is really what's going on beneath the surface. You know, you can hear, you know, what people are thinking about, you know, when you, uh, when you're presenting SEO services to them, they're thinking to themselves, Hey man, like I'm an expert in, you know, in plumbing, I'm an expert in, in, you know, being a dentist or or, or in dental or, or whatever it is or with like wills and estates, you know, like, I don't know about this stuff. You know, you're saying it sounds good, but you know, how do I really know? And this is, this is really what's going on beneath the surface. Yeah. But there's all, there's another thing that's even, it's also huge. That's totally in line with this is if you think about the responses that he gave me at the beginning of the call, how many words were they? Are <laughs> oh, they were really short? There was like one word responses. And now he stuck around with me and we're having a conversation and it's because I'm hanging in there and I'm digging in um, deeper. It's really easy just to say no once, but it's, it's not that I'm like some insane persistent person. It's that I just not going to get off with him because I know that he wants to do this and he needs it. It's, it's that simple. I, when someone doesn't want to do something, I just don't talk to them, but I, I know the key indicators uh, and I've mentioned them a number of them before and so now where I'm going with this conversation is like, I'm trying to get it to the place where I've gotten everything I can get from him in terms of buy-in and approval. And I believe that I have, I believe that like in his mind, everything that he can possibly evaluate, he's evaluated and he's evaluated it favorably, but he believes that in order to really say yes, it's like out of his realm of expertise. And that's where I'm trying to guide this conversation now. Cool. Uh, fast forward to the 28. Mark. Well, he said, wait, what did it say? We should really listen to all of this because it's solid gold. Oh, right, yeah. 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 Okay. We went through it. And, and that's what we are. But I do, I will need you to give us that opportunity and let us get rolling for you, Octavio. I mean, can you give us that opportunity? How many no times did I ask this guy? Mm hmm. to be able to lower the price on the service tell me more pause oh my god tell him right so when he says would you be able to lower the price on the service um i don't say like uh uh i say tell me more like a great response all, but also michael if someone if i ask them if they'll give me the opportunity and they say will you lower the price of the service what does that mean I have no idea. It could mean so many things. It no, could... it means I want to buy. <laughs> it means I want to buy. That's it. He went from, no, I can't do it. No, I can't to, would you lower the price? So in his mind, yeah. he's, he's, we're at a, a, a varying degree of, I'm not sure it's going to work, which is I want to mitigate my risk. That's why he wants to lower the price. So he's like, yeah, go ahead, Michael. Yeah, no, what I wanted to mention is like, you know, that obviously, yeah, that's, that's so, so right on. Um, but what I love about like, tell me more is the fact that like, you know, asking him to lower the price, what well, him asking lower the price by you asking and tell me more, it gets out of him. Like, why does he want that? It, it talks about the fact that, you know, um, is it that he can't afford it? Is it the risk? Is it the risk factor? Is it all this other things? Is it he's waiting for a check that's going to come in, you know, in two weeks that we didn't know about or something? There's yeah. a lot of things that it could be, you know, that could be going on behind that. Yeah. And I, I tell him, 
well, the, just like, you know, spoiler alert, I tell them like, we're going to have to build them a new website. We're, we're going to have to. I know we are going to have to because this website's like not even a thing. So I say, you know, I'll throw it in there if we do it. Because in my mind, the cost of us doing that once is low relative to the fact, you know, to keeping his monthly fee high in, in, indefinitely. Uh, $800. Uh, yeah. And by, and by the way, you know, how powerful are those groove templates that you guys have access to now in Fusion, you know, knowing that if you're on the finish line like this, throwing one of those things in is something that can help you. Yeah. Uh, has been over a thousand dollars, I believe. And have any of those services worked? No. Does that make you gotta the whole? You gotta hear that whole blip, Michael. If you can just go back a couple of seconds and, and play in, because it's really low volume right now. I don't know why. Go ahead. Would you be able to lower the price on the service? Tell me more. Oh yeah, the other services that I tried have been around eight hundred dollars. Uh, no one has been over a thousand dollars, I believe. And have uh, any of those services worked? No. <laughs> Does that make but sense? I, no. But I don't want to be sitting a, a year later with someone else and saying that uh, that the service of fourteen hundred dollars worked. And then I say no again. So yeah, but in, in one year from now, you're you're gonna know that this is we're doing a great job for you in a matter of months. You're not gonna the only way you're gonna pay us a year from now is if we're getting you a lot more calls. I mean, like in one year. The results that we can get are getting people to the first page of a huge city and getting them dozens, sorry, dozens if not hundreds more calls. That's a long time. Um, I we have a client in um, in Texas and uh, in you know Dallas Fort Worth, which is one of the most competitive markets in the entire country. Uh, he said that he was partnered up with this company called Rhino, which is one of the uh, you know big companies in the HVAC industry. And he worked with them. He worked with Plumber HVAC SEO.net, which is another company. They all charged him twenty five hundred dollars. And this guy said, I did, they didn't give me results. And when he signed up with me, he said, you know, uh, I like that, you know, you own the company and you and Michael, I get to talk to you guys once in a while. Um, and he said, third time's a charm. And so he called us up and he told me that when he, for the last 12 months, 40% uh, of his business was coming from the internet uh, and 60% was coming from his customer base. And since he started working with us, 60% of all of his calls came from the internet and 40% of his calls came from the customer base. That. So that is like a, what is it? 20% increase. Well, I mean, I can't even say what the 20% increase is. We essentially got him a shitload more phone. <laughs> <laughs> we essentially got him a shitload. I, I, I messed up the math. In fact, it actually was even better than that. But the point is I'm bringing back the evidence of the guy. That's awesome. And um, sure. God. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's move forward to, um, we're at uh, we're at thirty three right now. Yeah, let's go to thirty five. Yeah, I, I threw him the website. It does. He's not. He's not going to say yes, but I want him to. I want him to be as far as possible to say yes. So yeah. if you go to thirty five, enough. Yeah, no, man. You know what? I'm going to have to pass. Sorry, but uh. Oh my God! I asked him again, oh, Michael. Could you go back a couple more seconds? Uh, just so we can hear me asking him for the biz one more time. That's, that's like a, if you want to build a website, like from what we do, you know, if you've ever bought a website, it costs like 3000 bucks. I mean, does that sound fair enough? Yeah, no, man, you know what? I'm going to have to pass. Sorry, but, uh, there's way too much money right now. I don't want to. I can't take that risk right now. I wouldn't want to risk it. Hmm. I know. I mean, I, I get what you're saying. Well, let me ask you this. Um, if, if I sat down with Eric and I walked him through our program and he was like, yeah, this sounds really good. Would that, would that change your mind? I don't know if I changed my mind, but I would, I would take his, his, uh, his, his opinion. Think. Yeah. His opinion and, and, and maybe give it a try, but uh, what is it, fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500, it is a lot of money to me. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, if you, it, it's really hard uh, to make a choice right now because it is a lot of money, but uh, if you want to talk to Eric and see, I can take his opinion too and, and, and see. I do want to do it. I just think it's, it's, it's too much money to spend. Uh, pause, pause. You see, it's thanks, Michael, for pausing. Um, 
you, he, he said he was ready to do it before. He goes, no, I just can't do it. And then he goes, I do want to do it. Like, you know, I, we know, I know where he's at. Like I'm, I've taken the pulse. Once I know he's going to do it, I'm not, he's not like, doesn't want to do it now, but he keeps on thinking that I'm asking him to do it right this second. I know he's not going to, but I'm trying to push it as far forward as possible. Go ahead, Michael. Yeah. And one of the things, like, I remember after you, um, you spoke to Octo uh, Octavio and even before you spoke to Eric, you know, the very first thing you said to me after this demo was, you know, like this guy didn't trust himself to make a decision. And like, ultimately, like, that's what you've, that's what you've arrived at, you know, here an hour, 37 minutes into it is that you've identified that, like, you know, you've, you've, you've given, you've given him everything, you know, you've, you've given him every single objection. You've, you showed him proof and proof and proof and proof. Um, and at the end of the day, he doesn't trust himself to pull the trigger, even though he's got the money and all this other stuff. And so he's actually really lucky that he's got this, um, this office manager to, you know, help him, help him with this. In case, what if it doesn't work? Um, so it's up to you, if, man. Well, if there was no risk, then everybody would just work with us. But it's the people that take a risk that actually make money. Like when you started your business, was it guaranteed that you were going to be successful? No, no, I, I don't understand about my risk. <laughs> yeah. The, I mean, when I started this business, it wasn't a guarantee that we were going to be successful, even if we had the best SEO. There's a lot of factors that, that contribute. But you've got to have to, there has to be some risk you're going to take. I mean, if there's a risk that there's to take, this is going to be the least risk possible and the highest reward. I mean, every month that you're not showing up, you're, you're losing the money. So here's what I'm proposing. I know you want to give us the opportunity, but if we get a problem well, and you don't puzzle dude what i i have used every single rebuttal in the uh in the in the in the uh dirty dinosaur playbook that i worked at well, let's not call them dirty let's call them like you know like a little bit messy dinosaur right um i this this rebuttal is some version of what we call the um last resort mm -hmm. which is like there's this is a risk but it's the best risk possible and every day you're not showing up, you're losing this. And, and so um, this might be where you would like lower the price if you were, you know, car salesman or whatever. Not like there's anything wrong with that. People need to buy cars, right? But I, there's nothing, there's no price to lower, man. It's not the money. I'm telling you, he's not like pulling the trig at $1,200 right now. It's, and I'd be doing him a disservice if I allowed him that. So Listen to this. So yes, the statistics show even if you want to do this, you're not going to buy it. I just how it works. I mean, I've it's just it's I've been in the business for seven years because if you're not sure that this is going to be good for you right now, you're certainly not going to like be sure about it later. You're not going to get more sure about this, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we can agree on that. Yes. Okay. So if if that's the case, then what I think we should set up is. It sounds like if you, if Eric talks to me and I walk him through the program and he says, yeah, these guys are legit. He like signs off on it, that you're willing to give us the opportunity. Is this accurate? Yes. Okay. If that's the case, I, I will take as much time as I need to speak with Eric and tell him about this. And if, but the only, it's the condition is that if, if, you know, if he says I'm good to go, then we're going to do this. Otherwise, obviously, you know, my time's valuable and I can't, I can't have Eric say yes. And then have you say no, you know what I mean? Or else it'd be a waste of your, you know, you're paying Eric probably, right? It'd be a waste of everyone's time. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Are we, does that sound like a fair deal? Yeah, it sounds good. Okay, because, yeah, okay, cool. Because I'm, I mean, think about that. For me to spend an extra hour with Eric to show him how awesome our program is, it's, it's, that's a worth, worth the hour to have you feel excited going into this. Even if you were to, you know, give me the money and start working with us, if you're not, you know, happy and excited about it and confident, I don't know. I mean, it's not a good place to start. I know that you're you're pretty much at the edge of wanting to give us the opportunity, but I know you're going to feel a lot better if Eric sits down and talks to me and and, and co-signs on it. So I'm happy to do that. Right. We good there? So so um, what what's a good time for me to talk with him? You know. All right. So one thing this is this is just so masterful, and one of the things is like. You know, for you uh, who's watching, you know, this training, you might think to yourself, well, I want to see what Eric said. You know, I want to see that conversation with Eric. And what I think is really important to, um, 
to understand is that the deal literally just closed just now. And, yep. and there's a few things I want to point out. And Eric, I know you're going to jump in with a few no, other no, no. ones. That was a great way of putting it. But like the reason why we know it just closed, I'll give you like a few, uh, a few things here. Number one, if your boss tells you to take a call with somebody, are you going to take it or are you going to be a no-show? Obviously, you're going to take it, which, you know, which is a, is a big thing, is actually taking the call. The second thing, are you more worried about spending your own money or <laughs> are you more worried about spending somebody else's money if, you know, knowing that they have a budget for it? And like one thing that we've we found over and over again is that if it's somebody in the business, they are able to see the opportunity without the fear of losing out on the investment because it's really not their money. All they're thinking about is the opportunity that they stand to gain. The logic behind it, not the emotion. Right. The, the logic behind it. I mean, all of the, the stuff that you guys, you know, saw throughout the, you know, hour and 40 minutes here, you know, that's the, everything that they get to see. And the one thing that's not there is this idea of like, ah, oh, I've been burned before, you know, instead they see the logic behind it. They understand, oh, this is a process that actually works. And so, um, you know, when Eric uh, Brief told me about, <laughs> oh man, this is great. I just got off the call with Octavio. He didn't trust himself. We got this thing set up with um, his office manager tomorrow. He was like, yeah, this is uh, this is a slam dunk. As long as this guy, you know, um, sticks to his word of saying like, look, if Octavia, if, uh, if this other guy, if the office manager um, signs off on it, this is actually where something we're going to do. So you guys have seen the meat and potatoes, you know, like to have somebody come in super skeptical to have them, you know, say no time and time and time again, this is the, the core of the training um, in that Eric call, it basically goes like a breeze, like, oh yeah, this is what we do. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I love this. I've been trying to get him to do this all the time. Yeah. It's, you know? it's amazing. It was like, it was such a slam dunk just to give you some perspective is typically when we have calls, a lot of times we're talking to the office manager, the gatekeeper, not the gatekeeper, but a gatekeeper advanced, so to speak. Um, and we're, we're convincing them like, yeah, obviously we should do this, but like, how could I get the owner to agree to it? Right. And so. I get a yes all the time from the office manager. They always say yes, because this is freaking awesome. And we're, the, and we're great. It's, but it's the owner that always doesn't sign off. So now this is the reverse. Of course, I'm going to convince the office manager to do this because the owner told him to take the call. The owner is the person that we always have, need to have the burden of proof on. So now it's just a matter of getting this guy to, you know, see that we're legit. And so that, to me, I, as soon as I got on the call with this guy, I was like, this is, this is a done deal. Yeah. No, this is, uh, this is absolutely excellent. So um, that's it. I mean, that concludes uh, this call. I think, uh, I think there's a, a lot, a, a ton, a ton, a ton of value, you know, for you guys. Um, watch this call again, take notes and um, close some deals. Yeah. I should have this other final, that I was think, final note that I was thinking about. It's like, now that I look, listen back and listen to this call, I was like, I wouldn't say I'm surprised it closed. <laughs> because I'm, I'm not supposed to be surprised by doing the process and having it work, but it's almost like, damn. Yeah. Like, you know, you just, the people that don't make deals give up the people, they just give up earlier on in the process. Now think about the incremental effort that it took for me to stay on the call with the guy. So it took me 50 minutes or let's say even an hour and 10 minutes of my time staying on the call with him to actually get the deal. Think about how little time it was. So up until that point, we don't have any deal, but it was that extra time that I put in that made the deal. And I want to show something for you guys. You can see my screen now right over here. So um, this is in town heating and air. So they've been um, with us for just a little bit over two months now. Uh -huh. And well, it looks like they got started September 16th. So yeah, it's about two months. So on Google, they're up uh, 2000 positions, 2400 positions, 
on Google Local, they're up 207 positions, you know, and these are their, their starred keywords. Look at this. Um, yeah, I mean, like they were nowhere in sight, you know, it was a brand new website we built for them. But look at this plus 16 to the position number four for um, AC repair in Elgin, which is going to be their number Holy one keyword. Crap, dude. So like getting number serious. three is when you really start getting stuff. So, um, you know, like for uh, in the organic section, they've, I mean, we've brought them a lot, like high, they've, they've got a lot more to go. It's been a month and a half. There's no yeah, expectation. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, you know, this is something that this person, like he made the right decision, you know, at the end of the day. So, you know, that's another great thing to say. Yeah. Well, I knew it was going to happen because I know what our process is and I know like, you know, that's how why you can push so hard. That's why I can push so hard. And that's like, that's why you can push so hard with fusion is because you have that process. You need to know that like the confidence that you have should be absolutely at the top of the game. Greg Morrison, Dan Anton. I don't think there's anything else I need to say. Obviously, Michael, you're great too, dude. Thanks. But I'm just saying like, like it's these guys that taught you what you know, right? Right, Greg. And I mean, it's just like, we're talking about science here, man. Yeah. And the, the best way to get better at SEO is get more clients. Like I can promise you the best way to get better at SEO is to get more clients. Because if you get a client, you get somebody paying you, you're going to move heaven and earth to make sure everything works, to make sure that you keep them happy. So they continue paying, paying you. Um, if you want to get better at SEO, get more clients through the door. Get more clients through the door and you're going to figure everything else out. You're going to, you're going to encounter different problems, you know, that you, you know, you may not have known would have come up anyway. And that's how you're really going to up level with your skill set. You don't get, ironically, you don't get, I mean, you can get better at SEO by just, you know, studying SEO, but the best way to get better at SEO is to get more clients, which is to study sales. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video. See you.